lifetime. Y'all wasted a girl's time. For real. I mean, in three hours to be exact. What kind of shoop shit show were y'all trying to sell us? I don't know. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Uh, Cheryl and Sandra, it was three members in your group. Not just two. The fuck? pissed me off like pissed me off okay we we gonna talk about it we gonna talk about it. i got a lot i got a lot of shit to say okay um i'm gonna start with this shit has so many high profile producers that it shouldn't have went to shit so fast you had queen latifah as an executive producer you had salt and pepper who executive produced, of course they would. This is their 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 um their show, their life, whatever. But y'all not telling the whole story. And that's what I got a damn problem with. There's no reason why Spinderella should not have been telling her story as well. I would like to know things like this. How the hell did Spinderella come into the group? Oh, I get it. She wasn't, you know, sleeping with uh Herbie ugly ass. I get it. So that's what made her stay in the group. Okay, she had morals. The other bitch didn't. I get that too. Um, but I would like to know what type of issues she had in the group. You know what I mean? Because we get it. Sandy slash Peppa was an around the way girl who who was a good time all the time, who opened her legs and her mouth all the time. We get that. Uh, holier than thou sought uh, her whole damn life she was confused letting other people run her shit and ultimately just was throwing up through the whole damn film okay now here let, let, I, I don't want to make light of bulimia because let me move this y'all a little bit because it's serious but baby, y'all could have put a pause on how many times y'all show her uh, vomiting. Y'all really could have. We get it. Weight was an issue. We got that she had an ain't shit dude who was telling her that her ass was getting fat and thick and all that other stuff. We get it. We also get that because y'all, uh, y'all, a little arrangement wasn't working no more for him. He was okay to be a free, a free help. Because that's what basically was. A Haitian free hoe who had a baby on you. But you know what? I'm jumping ahead. Let's just start with. Y'all have Mario Van Peoples as the pastor slash um, executive producer as well. Like I said, y'all have too many big names for this to go, uh, go real Aaliyah. Y'all remember how Lifetime messed up Aaliyah? Y'all went there. And I, I don't appreciate my time being wasted. I just don't. Y'all irritated the hell out of me. First of all, had at least an hour of the movie, they was at Sears. They was working at the call center at Sears. Uh, and Martin Lawrence, the band they play, had playing Martin Lawrence, he's about 50 years old. No lie. He's about 50 years old. And I was like, okay, like, kid and play. Uh... Kid, I think his high tie fade was a little lopsided, but that's just me. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with what I'm saying. Um, okay, so here's my issue. Cheryl slash salt is in love with Herb. Herbie the whole love bug. He is ho, ho as ho can be. Ho, ho, ho. She in love with this fool. They got daddy issues. I get it. Pep, father passed at 17, and Cheryl, father, was a raging alcoholic. So, I get it. I so get it. But, uh, so, you stay, I, I know we stay some time way too long, but baby, I don't see what the benefit was. He was in a basement with a bed, with a full-size bed. I don't, and it was a full-size sofa pullout type of shit. Like, I don't know what you were staying for, baby. I don't. He was grimy and um he didn't mean you he didn't mean you no well. He either mean you well at all. 
And I, I just didn't get like, okay, yes, from 19 to damn near 30, you were still messing with this man. And this man had a whole baby on you with this young ass girl. That girl looked like she was like, uh, she looked like she about 15, y'all, didn't she in the movie? I was like, what kind of idiot is that? Like the girl looked young as hell with the and then the mama Haitian ass. I nigga would have not a nigga. I'm, and I'm like, well, who's she yelling at? Who the hell is she yelling at? Mom, you better fall your ass back. Who this? Harpo. Who this woman? Who this woman? So, y'all, I'm just going to post all the, the imagery of Spinderella. And y'all tell me if she don't belong in the group and got a story to tell herself. Salt and pepper didn't mean just a salt shaker with salt and pepper. Y'all got y'all law. Y'all forgot about Laurie season of salt. Y'all forgot about Spinderella, baby. She made the group too. And also, yeah. Also, let's not forget that she had verses. She wasn't just scratching and mixing for y'all asses. Spinderella had a voice too. Hello? Was she not? Did she not have lyrics on What a Man? Right. Right. She did. She had lyrics on a couple songs. So no, she just wasn't scratching and, and scratching and surviving with y'all. She got a story too. She had a whole um marriage or whatever, or a, a, not a marriage, but a whole relationship. Um with Kenny Anderson. Y'all remember Kenny Anderson? Kenny Anderson was um Tammy's ex-husband from Basketball Wars. Y'all know Tammy. She married Kenny Kenny Anderson, but before that, Kenny had a baby with Spinderella. Did y'all know that? See, that's some shit that should have been in the film. Why y'all trying to tell y'all uh holier than thou stories? Because so I don't believe you was that naive or that that saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost Spirit. I don't believe the shit. I don't. Yo, yo, yo twat wasn't. Yo, no no wasn't. It wasn't saved and sanctified. No, it was not. It was not. Okay. Um let me just get into because they, they really pissed me off with not letting Spinderella tell her story. They really, really pissed me off with that. And I feel like she was a part of the group. If y'all didn't want her part of the group, y'all should have kept her off the album covers. Y'all shouldn't have gave her a, a, a let her write her rhymes because uh, uh, y'all just started writing y'all shit. Apparently, coming to the film, her was writing y'all shit. So y'all had a ghostwriter for years. So I, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, Kirby was shady. He was sleeping with the first Spinderella. And because I guess I don't know if the I don't know if the hair wasn't great or you know he she wasn't slobbing and knobbing on the corner of the cob no more. I don't know. But he let her go. He act like he was doing something big by just letting her go in front of salt and pepper. I don't care for how he was treating Sandy. I guess because Sandy wasn't, I mean not Sandy. I don't like how he was treating um no, that's Sandy. I don't like how he was treating Pep because Pep ain't sleeping with you and she ain't your yes man. You found ways to be nasty, arrogant, and disrespectful. Oh, you're Jamaican? But then you should be able to ride over my beat. Well, you're Haitian and you a hoe. You should be able to keep your, 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 your penis in your pants. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, Melanie, hold up in this mug. I... Just saying, no, sh uh, yeah, I'm shady. I'm shady shit today. I don't care. They wasted my damn time. They did. Um, and another thing, I get y'all don't have security, but her, you ran up in a club trying to chase down a fake salt and pepper who was played by their kids, their daughters, Egypt, and um, Korean played the fake salt and pepper. What was your point of going on stage? And then running off the stage if you weren't going to throw hands for real. Y'all explain that to me. He he ran off stage, said, y'all ain't watching the real salt and pepper. Run off stage and then get his ass whooped and get, he gets salt ass knocked out. So y'all got your ass whooped. And what came of that? And then he says, uh, this is why you don't mix your business with pimps. Horrible ass businessman. Horrible. Horrible. So, and here's 
other issue. So I think you're a little shady too because you knew the record deal you guys get, had, but you didn't initially explain it to Pep. Like, hey, just so you know, we got a record deal. It's whatever, 12 points. Herb getting six. Yeah, that, that fool got six points. He got six. We got to share six. So I got to split. You get three and I get three. How you going to get rich off three off three pennies? It ain't even 50 cent. You got three pennies. You get three, I get three. He gets six because he writing, he ghost writing our rhymes. That's why I was like, what kind of shoot shit? And oh, oh, I ain't even going to talk about the dollar store wigs. Okay, shall we? We're going to talk about the dollar store wigs. Um, I need y'all to take that shit back to the Dollar Tree, Party City, wherever, pep, with that wet and wavy. I, I think that was Jerry Curl mixed with Dominican. I don't know what in the hell. Who was the hairstylist? Y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't have gotten Kim Kimball or nobody to help y'all with the hair? Them badass wigs. I said, oh God, no. No, the bad haircuts, the bad wigs, just horrible shit. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to say it again. Spinderella had the same shit on. Had four lines through the whole movie. Yeah, they sitting on the bus. Uh-huh, yeah. And we are salt and pepper. She had four lines through the whole movie. And she still was wearing them same badass wigs and haircuts like y'all. And she couldn't have told her story too. She couldn't have told her hard times, her struggles. No. Scratching and surviving. She couldn't have told her scratching and surviving story. Y'all some lames. Y'all lame as hell for that. And y'all talk about women empowerment. Ain't shit empowering about not telling everyone's story. Her beloved bug had more. He had more camera time than Spinderella should have. Spinderella should have been able to tell her story. Point blank in the period. And I don't give a shit. Who don't like what I'm saying? That woman deserved to tell her story because she was in every album cover, every music video. Hell, I, I'm an 80s baby, okay? I'm an 80s baby. And I remember Push It. I don't remember this shit beforehand, but I remember Push It. And I remember I played that song out, honey. Out. Okay? I played that tape out so bad. I and broke the tape. I got some super glue and super glued that damn tape together and rewind it with my yeah with the yeah you gotta put your put the pencil in I rewind yes yes and it 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 skipped a little bit but it was all right I was gonna push through that shit but y'all didn't let me push through this damn movie with y'all stupid no. ass okay here's a here's some something I did not know okay so y'all know like I said pet was easy on the eyes and with the men okay so what I did not know I, I don't know why I assumed this. I did. I assumed that she had two kids with Tretch. I, I did not know that her son Tyran is, um, his father's name is, let me, in my notes I wrote, Barry Riddick. Um, he was, his, he was known as Ty Ty. So the man that walked in a bar that got her a drink that she was all wet and gooey for, yeah, that was uh his daddy and she got pregnant so quick i was like okay y'all either y'all making her purposely look like a loosey goosey or did she know that man before a hot minute and she had got pregnant i don't know but so yeah she get pregnant and the dude was like i don't want that baby i assume he was on birth control she was like well i'm not and you're going to take care of this baby. And if you don't, oh, well, but I'm keeping it. Okay. All right, sis. Fine. So y'all automatically know because she said, I'm keeping it. She became a single parent. Okay. Fine with it. Um, in the midst of that, Peppa is learning the business. And Salt is still running up behind her. What I did like was that Peppa ain't as dumb as she lead herself on to be. She She's not. Because yes, even though she had a baby and then Salt ended up getting pregnant, which I thought was by Herbie, but it was really by Gavin, her now 
um, ex-husband, what I did not know was that they both were pregnant at almost around the same time, like a year or two apart from each other or whatever. But um, what I did like was that Pepper started to pay attention to the business and saw once she put salt on game and you know that little bug was in her ear like girl y'all getting played like herb is getting y'all for everything and he he not up there pushing it he he ain't up there you know on what a man he he you know and i was like hmm okay yeah so so I just act like she was a punk when it came to her like when it came to business if it wasn't for peppa pushing her she she was punk she's punk to me okay so can we just talk about um trash for a minute okay <laughs> okay they had trash down as far as um the the necklace you know he used to wear uh what, what was it, the padlock around his neck okay but i was like what in the juice um the 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 actor who played church i was like this ain't believable worth shit um the voice wasn't there he wasn't as bulky matter of fact at that party he was stalking the hell out of uh pepper and pepper yeah she still act like that in real life right now she still act like the life of the party but he was stalking her why you going in rooms by yourself throwing shit what the hell you to throw something else at me and i'ma slap the shit out he threw up because she said she was on the phone with salt talking about oh i got it i got a song i'm inspired shoot and y'all ain't gonna tell me all these parties pep was having all this stuff going on and spinderella was in the breeze in the wind y'all not gonna tell me that y'all not gonna tell me that that woman was nowhere in the story you're not gonna tell me that you're not Saw, Saw gets, um, they go on Arsenio Hall show. Saw is pregnant. And, um, Arsenio Messias was like, you know, you and Herb, y'all going strong. Uh, her and Herb ain't even together. And Gavin gets mad because he's like, you let the world, which she did, she let us believe that Herb was her baby daddy. And it really was Gavin. She let us believe that. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, she did do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. And then y'all got Spinderella. See, that's another thing. Y'all got Spin sitting on the couch looking fly with y'all with the same dashiki shit on. And y'all ain't said, oh, our girl Spin put down the tracks, blah, blah, blah. No, nothing. So what's crazy is that they allude to the fact that Tretch was basically putting his hands on Pep. Okay. Um, they, I guess they did show that Pet was into smoking weed and all that stuff. Um, her drug, well, I guess drug use or whatever, but, and, uh, I, but you know what? This is what they should have told me. They should have told me who, I, who the hell was her plastic surgeon. <laughs> Hello. They should have been being honest about that. You know what I mean? Or, um, how, or how she was as a parent. They didn't show any of that. No, they didn't. Mm -mm, they didn't show any of that. All of a sudden, her and Tretch was not together. Tretch said, you ain't giving me sex. Um, I, I want a divorce. And I think in her book or something, or on the show, she kind of had had told that story about how she, uh, he always wanted it. And if she didn't give it to him, he would like take it. And I was like, okay, marital rape, but all right. Um... Of course, you know, all these things were allegedly because Tretch kind of denied some things and some things he did say he was, you know, a bit angry about. Or, um, I don't know, I was like, was he angry about the group failing? Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. But yeah, they divorced or whatever. She did not talk about them three marriages that she had. She didn't say that. She didn't talk about that. She didn't, um, saw all of a sudden, saw got God. She and Mario Van Peoples and talked her into tithing every Sunday. And she is at a point where she can't do nothing without God. And Peppa is not about God. So she leaves Peppa in the dust. And she called Peppa while she was at church after service and said, I can't do this no more. I need to find myself. 
out and i was like okay and then on top of that uh pepper was feeling like well my whole husband left me and now i don't i don't know what to do and i said is it i said to myself pepper won't cry because trish left her she was she was tired of taking them licks she was mad about that money because essentially salt was stopping their bag salt allowed her to get that big ass house that she couldn't afford really and with pet with trish leaving what happened to new jersey drive what happened to the house foreclosed so she got to move the hell out she can't afford that mortgage by herself but I think that's really why she was mad. She's mad because she was getting that, that money was stopping in. She was like, you told me to, because she even said it in the movie. Yeah, but who t who recommended that I buy the house because we stable now. We stable now. You can buy that big ass house. I said, but uh, we didn't saw, we didn't see Salt House. What was Salt living in? A condo? A two bedroom apartment? There's another thing that I did not know. So y'all remember Susan Taylor from Essence, the lady with the, um, she always had the cornrows. They were really tight or whatever. Um, she had the gap. Well, what I did know was that she asked them to perform for the Essence. Um, I guess it was a music like conference or whatever, but she asked them not to sing none of your business. And Salt was like, I, I told her I wouldn't sing it. I told her because it was about women and empowerment. And what they do, go up on stage and sing that damn song. She was pissed, y'all. Pissed. I, <laughs> I was like, well, that may uh, have solidified why they weren't on um, anymore damn covers <laughs> okay so essentially they have to sue herb um for you know contract um release and all those terms of him releasing his control and everything like that and they win and so it was like it didn't have to come to this but you made it come to this and he was like yeah all right, all right. like y'all got it gone with y'all life and I was like, girl, I wouldn't have said shit. I wouldn't. Like, you already knew it didn't have to come to this. You, your lawyers and whoever else hyped you up. You didn't have, I, I, I mean, I guess her, 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 her be the whole, he, he ain't doing nothing with himself. He ain't going to be nothing but the whole he is, basically. Y'all gave him too much credit and power in this film. Um, essentially, what ended up happening is, uh, they break up. We are, it's like, honestly, this whole movie, we already knew what they were saying. They didn't really say too many things that were new. They didn't talk about plastic surgery. They didn't talk about the weight gain, the uh, thyroid. They didn't talk about none of that shit. They talked about the surface level shit that we are, if you were a fan or grew up in the 80s and 90s, you already knew half of the stuff that they were saying in the film. It wasn't hard to know this stuff. We already knew when Spinderella came in, we first saw her on the push. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. Like, tell me something new. I was well, I wanted to know some new tea. Like, oh, I didn't know that. That's all I'm saying. Um, in the end, they break up. Okay, here's the, here, here's my problem. They jumped. Like, I don't know, like four or five years. They jumped. They hadn't spoke at all. They jumped the VH1 hip hop honors. I got a problem. I got a problem with this. Okay, y'all jump. And that's fine. Whatever. How y'all gonna jump and then show just you two performing on stage as if spin wasn't there? None of y'all performances, y'all had a DJ booth with spin there. And I'm sorry, but run it back once again. Every performance, Spin was there. She got the same eight ball jacket as y'all. She wore the dashiki hats. Her hair was fucked up like y'all. Everything that y'all went through, she went through too. She went through, she had an ancient dude too. Hello, got kids and all that. Y'all just displayed. Y'all just removed her like she don't mean shit. And she means something, okay? She means something. That's just like if Destiny's Child comes out with their story and god i for i hope to god lifetime don't ever do that shit let bet do it matter of fact i want a remake 
Let's rewind this shit. Let's do it over. BET. I need BET to do y'all story. And I want to know the real story. I, I need I need somebody else to do y'all story because it, it wasn't told well. It wasn't told well. It wasn't unique. It wasn't catching us. And three hours of our time was wasted. And y'all did not, y'all were not fair to spend. And yeah, I get it. Y'all settled, y'all love financial um disparities or whatever out of court or, or whatever the case is y'all owe her some money she got her money but i still feel like an olive branch of your story should have been given to spin for her to tell and i agree with spin how you gonna tell a story about salt and pepper and don't explain me or my role or contribution to this entire group y'all act like y'all both of y'all two was up in there making boss moves Y'all are making more hoish moves than boss moves. But that's another, that's another story. That's another story. Y'all, they, they just wasted my damn time. And then the shit with Lonnie Love. And they still was talking about foolishness. Foolishness. Bullshit. Foolishness. I'm just not here for them. Y'all wasting my time. Lifetime, once again, y'all wasting my, my time. I want to see what y'all do with Wendy Williams. And um, let, I'm going to be, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch Whitney. I'm going to watch it. Okay? I'm going to watch it. But y'all, let this be the last documentary on Whitney. Unless Robin, Robin Crawford is doing her own special. And it, uh, y'all, let this be it. Please. I'm tired. I'm tired of y'all talking about um Chrissy. And Whitney, I am okay. Damn, I am. But um, y'all, this is my review recap on this uh shoot shit shit show. I ain't got more. I ain't got nothing else for y'all. Y'all like, comment, share this video. Um, subscribe if you're new to my channel or have never seen me. I would love for you to subscribe. And um, yeah, yeah. Let's see shit else to say, y'all. But um, put it in the comment section. What did you take from the movie? Do you feel like I was wrong in certain areas? Do you feel like Spinderella should not have been excommunicated? And um, what not? What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. And um, I just want to say, why y'all didn't sing What a Band? Because that was my shit. <laughs>